welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to fix the broken global illumination and lighting in unreal engine 5 games running on a windows pc with an integrated gpu like the one in rog ally radian 780m in this video i'll be just using a mod to fix the broken global illumination in silent hill 2 remake and still wakes the deep both of them uses unreal engine 5 this is the mod that i'm talking about it's d3 d12 proxy developed by this user ALXN1 you can download it for free from github i'll give its link in the description just download its latest version this is the version at the time of recording this video click on the zip link first i'll highlight the visual bugs i'll be running silent hill 2 remake this game received a new update just yesterday hotfix version 1.05 labyrinth progression blocker has been fixed i think it was the cube puzzle that had developed a bug after update version 1.4 the game now supports cloud saves, thank god. I often test this game on different platforms. Now I should be able to continue the game from the same point where I left off last time all thanks to the steam cloud saves. For this game I've set the UMA buffer size to 7GB, my ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest GPU driver Eternal version 24.10.1 using a 30 watts manual profile all 3 power values set at 30 watts. Full ST resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Adrenaline and settings for the game Free Sync and V Sync enabled, Anti Lag setting enabled as well. Using a custom Afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics, game settings, 720p resolution, display mode full screen. This game now supports FSR 3.1 frame generation, I have enabled it. Upscale up, FSR 3.1. Using its balance preset, graphics quality preset low. Make sure the game is running in Direct 3D 12 API mode. In order to highlight the broken lighting in this game, I have loaded the Woodside Apartment section. There's James. Now, people who have already played this game know that the game is not supposed to look like this. The apartment is so bright. I'll go to the floor above. It is supposed to be completely dark, especially in this hallway. You can even see the monster waiting for me at the end of the hallway. See? I'll just take out this creature <laughs> stuttering. Now I'll install the mod, show you the difference. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads. Look for d3d12.zip file, there it is. Open it. Just copy these two files. We need to paste these files in the games install directory where the game's exe file is present. I own the Steam version of Silent Hill 2. Select the game in your library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. This will open the games install directory, but don't paste the mod files here. You need to open sh proto folder, then open binaries folder, then open win64 folder. This is the game's main exe file. Paste the mod files here. That's it. Don't need to edit the INI file, the default settings work just fine. Launch the game. Where in the menu, you can already see that the lighting has been fixed using the same settings as before. Loaded the exact same sequence. I am still in Woodside Apartments, but just look at the difference in terms of lighting. Oh my god, the mod is working. Dark hallways. In this section, we need to rely on our flashlight see go to the floor above so if any other I beg your pardon if in any other Unreal Engine 5 game you observe broken lighting just use this mod this issue usually occurs on Windows PCs that have an integrated GPU dark hallway creature is waiting for us at the end See there it is. <laughs> Without this darkness we already knew about the position of this creature. It's not how we are supposed to play the game. How the game is supposed to look. Now I'll test another area. Hitching is still present. Just want to check out the game stability. I'm in the town of Silent Hill. Yeah the fog effect is working properly now. So this issue has also been fixed. I'll just head to Neely's Bar. That location is prone to stuttering. Keep an eye on the VRAM usage. 
oh now it's increasing already reached 6.4 GB game still has performance issues in DirectX 12 mode stuttering you see the spikes on the frame pacing graph if you really want to play the game on Ally I would recommend using DXVK it's a translation layer that translate direct 3d 11 calls to Vulkan first you need to run the game in direct 11 mode oh no look at the stutters efficiently drop from 80 to 46 and again you can also use hybrids ss2 essential mod it improves the game's performance in DirectX 12 mode there is nearly spa another hiccup now i'll be testing the next game just a short test for still wakes the deep it's the pc game pass version of the game i'll highlight the broken lighting first in game settings 720p resolution motion blur and film grain disabled quality preset high yeah this game supports fsr 3 frame generation fsr 3 upscaler enabled using its quality preset frame generation enabled as well we sync off everything set to high that's it we are in yeah immediately you can tell that the lighting is not working properly in this game everything is looking so bright we observed the same bug in Silent Hill 2 Remake this is also a horror game a very atmospheric one we often traverse through dark corridors ok now I'll be applying the fix copy the two mod files open the games install directory manage files browse this is the game's main install folder open content folder open habitat folder open binaries folder open bin gdk folder this is the final directory where you need to paste the mod files that's it now the game it is in the same settings as before everything set to high load the same sequence now the lighting has been fixed so the proxy work even in this game I am really impressed by the input response input delay is not a problem even after enabling FSR frame generation in this game FPS is variable 80 to 100 so if you encounter broken global illumination in any Unreal Engine 5 game running on your ROG Ally or Legion Go just use this proxy I'll give its link in the description brightly lit section see the light dark corridor even the shadow is rendered properly so that's it with the video guys I hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day